with Bad Batch, episode 8. We are halfway through the series now. Half of the episodes have dropped for this show. We've got eight more left before the end of this season. It's gone pretty quick, actually. It feels like it's gone pretty quick. Last week, we had childlike innocence ripped from our hearts when Wrecker decided to be a good soldier and follow orders. But that childlike innocence was also restored. Everyone has now had their inhibitor chips removed all of them are now immune to the effects of order 66 there is no chance of them executing it yes yeah, so everyone is safe except for one and that is the man and unfortunately way disney plus is set up it shows you a thumbnail for the episode you're about to watch and i can clearly see crosshair which i've been spoiled that crosshair is going to be in this episode I am so happy he's back. I've missed him. It's about time that we got him back. And to be fair, I was expecting him in this episode as well because, honestly, last episode where we left off, the Bad Batch is still on this planet, which is the same planet, which I think is the same planet from the beginning of Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen Order, but again, I haven't played it, so I don't know, where there's basically all Republic cruisers all just ready for scrap they've been dismantled and everything and the scrapper guild has discovered them and has decided to contact the empire about them so i would have been disappointed if crosshair didn't show up in this episode and i feel like i've brushed over it so far last episode we had the og captain rex showing up and unfortunately it would make sense that that's the last we see of him because it was a good way to go out just disappearing into the fog so majestically it's a good ending, although please, I, I said it last week, give Disney, give us Lucasfilm, give us a Rex series, animated probably, unless you want to get to Mira Morrison playing Boba Fett and Captain Rex at the same time. I'm happy with that, but I'd rather see the soldier Rex, I don't want to see old man Rex, I want to see soldier Rex, so preferably animated. You can make a show about Rex, of course you can make a show about Rex. Happy to be seeing Crosshair back in this episode. And honestly, I don't really feel like talking about anything else until we've watched it. So let's just get into season one. Don't know if it'll be a season two, but episode three of... Episode three? Episode three? Jesus. Episode eight of Bad Batch starting now. Camino Sty right off. There's the man. There's the man himself. Yes. With his bootleg clone troopers. Clones of Experimental Unit 99 are highly skilled assets. It would be most beneficial to have them returned alive. I have no interest in a group of rogue clone deserters. If you find them on Bracca, terminate them. That's how you disassemble a thermal explosive. There's tons of live ordnance buried in this shipyard. Seems simple enough. Well, if you're so sure, here, disarm it. Me? Ten seconds till we're both gone. Ten. <laughs> Obviously not that one. Too late. Run for it. It's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna. Okay, something blew up. I thought it wasn't gonna blow up. It's a smoke bomb. You think I let you train with a live explosive? I'm not crazy. <laughs> I failed my first disarming test too. With my help, you'll be a pro. I'm guessing that's what this is from. All that on his head. That's not comforting. Go get a visual. Bloody hell. How the hell did Echo get there? What's the potential hall inside this cruiser? My scans indicate the armory and artillery bay have not been fully offloaded. Just a few of those weapons should clear our deck with Sid. We're soldiers, not arms smugglers. There's no Republic for us to rely on anymore. We're presented with an opportunity here. We have to take it. I would also add that... Mm, Echo's got a, got a bit of trouble having to adapt to this new life. He's used to being an honourable soldier. <laughs> you could have cut his hands off. Hugging <laughs> okay, okay, the missiles. Oh, come here, beautiful. We're soldiers. What other path is 
is there? Mm. You've got Omega with you now. You have to be a family. That's the proximity sensor. It signals when there's an approaching vessel. It's most likely a short circuit. Uh, or not. Hunter, we've got company. <sighs> and those are Republic... Former Republic, no, now Empire. The Empire. Yeah. I will have to call upon further assistance. Is that why? We already have someone handling matters. They they obviously hired uh, Fennec. It's Crosshair, all right. He won't be able to detect us. We already got what we came for. Let's get to the Marauders. They're already on board. You're gonna have to use all those weapons you hold to keep them at bay. Talk to me, Tech. I'm trying to tap into the Rex Calm so we can monitor their movements. It's like Die Hard in a Republic show, and I'm all for it. It's Crosshair. He knows the tactics so well he could be baiting them. Tapping our comms to track our movements. So predictable. If these cannons fire, this whole deck will collapse. <sighs> On them. Exactly. Tell him about the chips. Crosshair, wake up. You're being controlled by an inhibitor chip. He's telling the truth. Aim for the kid. Really? <laughs> oh. Well, Omega just killed someone for the first time. Uh. Oh, what was that scream? Oh, hello. Ooh. That's a nice shot. I didn't think you meant we'd be escaping through the engine. I could not have been clearer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh. Uh. Try again, Hunter. What is that? Sounds like the engine's coming online. Let's turn it That's not possible, right? Technically, it is. Oh damn! Oh damn! I think so. What about Plan 7? Plan 7 has nothing to do with this situation. What do you think of something? Can we use the explosives from the armory to disable the engine? Ah, oh, that's all of your haul. Uh uh. Uh oh. Everybody get down! Woo! Your face, your face. <sighs> that had to hurt. He did. Oh, it wasn't them. God, Bane! I've taken down so many clones over the years. The hat's not as big, and he doesn't have the trench coat. And the voice doesn't feel as robotic, but it's still fucking Cad Bane. You want to get in a quick draw with Cad Bane? I don't even know if Hunter can do that. This is full western. You ain't quick, you ain't out quick drawing Cad Bane. Sorry, the lady. Hmm. 
Ooh, look at this, this POV shot. Now that's cool. He took a bigger. Who? Crosshair? No. A bounty hunter. Right. We have to find her. Right. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's the end of the episode. You're in for a bit of trouble, Hunter. You're up against the best bounty hunter in the fucking galaxy right now. Woo! That's right. Oh, yes. Crosshair was a lovely, welcome surprise, and I loved having him. That's the surprise of the series for me so far. Even more so than Rex. I swear there is an unfinished episode of Clone Wars where Cad Bane is actually killed by Boba Fett. Like, there's an unfinished episode of Clone Wars. It's in, like, pre-animation. It's Obviously, it's not finished, but it's, like, half-finished of an episode where Boba Fett and Cad Bane get into a, a shootout, a one-on-one -on -one shootout, just like this. But... They both shoot at the same time, but Cad Bane dies. He hits Boba Fett in the head, but Boba Fett's helmet protects him, hence the dent in Boba Fett's helmet that you see in the in the original trilogy. And in The Mandalorian, there's a dent in Boba Fett's helmet that was caused by Cad Bane's blaster when they shot at each other. But yeah, Cad Bane died there. But I'm, gu I'm guessing that's wiped from continuity now. I'm guessing, episode I'm guessing those, like, Episodes that weren't finished don't technically count in continuity anymore. I just thought they did, but they just never, never actually finished them. I don't want them to finish them now if we're going to keep getting Cad Bane instead of him dying. Ooh! Like I said, there were little changes to him, like... His hat's not as big, it's not, ex not as exaggerated. He doesn't have the trench coat, and his voice doesn't sound as robotic as it used to but it's still Cad Bane and I love it Toto as well I think still voiced by Seth Green I'm sure isn't that lovely okay yep I, I talked about having crosshair, crosshair back uh, in the beginning when uh, apparently Lama Sue and Rampart still arguing about what to do with the clones and everything how to proceed with the clones Looks like Rampart doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care about acquiring uh, the Bad Batch to use them in the Empire's army. He he just wants to kill them. He doesn't care about the special abilities they have. Which has led to the Kaminoans hiring Cad Bane. It seems like definitely from that. Because he said, Lama Su said to Nala say that we need to get extra help. They've already got a bounty hunter hunting, which is Fennec. And now they've got Cad Bane. Oh, Cad Bane and Fennec. What a pair of bounty hunters to be hunt going after you. All you need is Boba Fett and you've got the trio there. But I don't think Boba Fett would want to work for Kaminoans. Wrecker teaching Omega how to disable explosive. Giving her army training, really. Like disabling explosives, I'm sure. Teaching her how to use weapons and everything. All that stuff. The Bad Batch have to now do things that they wouldn't... Well, do things that normal clones wouldn't usually do to get by. Because they're talk, they're talk, the Bad Batch are talking about... Uh, scavenging uh, Republic cruisers, getting weapons and stuff, and selling them to get money. Whereas Echo is not really seeing that as a good thing... He's still the honourable soldier, the straightforward soldier who doesn't... He wants fought against stuff like that. Like he doesn't want to be seen as a, a... Well, he doesn't want to be a, a scoundrel selling weapons for money. He's not into that. But this is how they've got to live now. The, Re the Republic doesn't support them anymore. The, em the Empire will never support them. Echo saying that 
uh, they're soldiers. What else can they be now? And but they've they've got to figure that out. Unless Echo wants to go back to the Empire, which is a heartbreaking thought. I don't know why that just came to me. Echo's just not ready to leave being a soldier behind. Crosshair and his bootleg squad of clones show up with a bunch of regular clones, regs. And it basically turns into Die Hard in a... Star Wars Die Hard in a Republic cruiser against a bunch of clones now and, and Crosshair. I could watch five episodes, a five episode arc of that. I'd, I'd be fine with that. Using constant tricks to get by the clones, get by Crosshair. I was hoping when Omega and Hunter started talking about the chips that you would have seen some of the clones in the background going like, wait, what are they talking about? It looks like they're just oblivious to it. They're not paying attention. It's like in Westworld when the... I can't remember what they're called now. It's been so long since I watched season one of Westworld, but when the... I'll just call them the robots. The robots, when they see... They can't see things that are not meant to be in their world, so they're like, it doesn't mean anything to me. It doesn't look like, any, it doesn't look like anything to me. And that's basically what the clones are. You talk to them about the chips, and they're just like, it doesn't seem like anything. They're not. They're not paying attention. But, yeah... Oh, having Crosshair as a villain is so good because he knows the Bad Batch's every move. He knows exactly what they're going to do. Like, he knew that he, they would hack into the comms, so he said, push. So he was anticipating that, but he also knew where they would go. The Bad Batch thought an ambush was waiting for them at the hangar, and he knew they would think that, but he also knew where they would go after that for their plan B. He knows their tactics so well. That makes him such an interesting villain. So yeah, it went to... So, plan A, go to the hangar, failed. Plan B, go to the artillery bay, failed. Plan C was go to the engines and try to escape through the engines. Which is also a cool idea of having to weave your way around all the nooks and crannies of this fucking cruiser to get out of the engines. You know like in in the Poseidon movie when they have to crawl through every little aspect of the ship just to get out of a way that should not be <laughs> should not be taken as a route to get out of a ship from. That's like this. And they especially don't get out through the engines. Especially if they can be turned on and used to possibly disintegrate you. Yeah, Wrecker had the smart idea for once, using the explosives to disable, sort of disable the engines, but also get it to move to the point where it fucking burned Crosshair's face off. Jeez. So now Crosshair is in a bit of shit because he's got his face burned. It looks like his legs got his leg broken and it looks like he's got a broken arm as well. So he's not in the best state right now. It's fucking the first episode back in like five episodes and he's injured. He's out He's out for another five episodes. There is something that I'm recognising now. Something that might happen. And if you don't want to hear my theory, probably mute this video. And, and then... I'll put a little mute if you don't want possible spoilers message down here. And it will leave when... When it leaves, that means you can tune back in. But, okay, so here it is. Mute if you don't want possible spoilers, even though I don't know any. Crosshair is going to be going on his way back to Camino now to get medical treatment. But who is also on the way back to Camino is Cad Bane with Omega. So now Omega and Crosshair are going back to the same place. Is it possible she's going to be the one to sort of get into his head a little bit so that he can finally, in a moment of triumph, resist the chip and then break her out and take them back to the squad? Take Omega back to the Bad Batch and so it's the Bad Batch is all together again? Is that a possible thing? Because that would be amazing if that happened. You can come back now. I'm finished with my theory, even though it's an amazing theory. Yeah. Crosshair back, Cad Bane, Die Hard and Jedi Cruiser, 
What was there not to love about this episode? The last few episodes have been so good. The Trace and Rafa one was the best one up to that point. Then they topped it with Captain Rex last episode. And now they've topped it again with this one. Oh my god. And you know what you know what they all have in common? Those three episodes, including this one? They all feature Clone Wars characters. And you know it's in a trend here. My workplace. There's not, there's not a lot, there's, there's none of me nerds there, so it's very rare that they talk about anything, but they got onto the subject of Star Wars a few days back, and uh, they were talking about Star Wars, like, how they're not really fans of it anymore, and they were talking about, like, I think the one of them said, like, I think the films are good, but I'll never watch those animated shows. I nearly lost my fucking mind when he said that. I was like, how fucking dare you? These animated shows probably give you some of the best Star Wars stories there are. Like, these animated shows have changed Star Wars and how we see Star Wars. Because they are so good. I'm going to watch so many reactions to this episode just to watch the Cad Bane's reactions. So, yeah. I think that's all we've got for this week of Bad Patch. It was such a good one. Only topped off by a surprise return by Cad Bane. How great. I can't wait for next week's episode, but that's all we've got for this week. Until next time, we are over and out.